Hello and welcome to Code Wars. This is the JavaScript section in CodeWars.com. I just chose a random challenge, the if function. I'm like pretty brand new to this site, but just from looking at it, I'm loving it. This is already for if you already kind of understand the syntax of the JavaScript language and are just trying to challenge yourself to solve algorithm problems. So the first one that I chose is called the if function and it says, who likes keywords? Nobody likes keywords, so why use them? You know what keyword I use too much? If. We should make a function called underscore if with its arguments as a logical test and two functions where the first function is executed if the boolean is true and the second if it is false. Like an if else statement so that we don't have to mess around with those nasty keywords. Even so, it should support truthy, falsy types just like the keyword. Here's the example. They call the function underscore if. They pass in true. The first function should run if the boolean is true. And if not, the second function should run. So that seems actually like a simple enough challenge. Where do we do the challenge? Right here where it says train. Okay. So we have our setup here. They have, they actually set up our function. So the first thing we need to look at is we are making an if statement in here. The point of this is we won't ever have to do an if statement again. Um, but they're saying we want to check if whatever Boolean is passed in, if it is true, we want it to run this first function. If it is not, then we want to run this function. So again, that is really simple. All we got to do is check if bool that is passed in is equal to true, then we want to run that function, the first one. So all we really got to do is say return func1. We could actually make this a little cleaner, easier for you guys to see. And then we would just say else. And then our second condition, return func2. Close it. So I'm not sure if this is right, but it seems to me that it's all it's ASCII. Again, let's just use our logic here. We pass in true. So we want this to be true. If it is true, we want it to run function one. Else, if this is a false, this will not run and it will automatically run function two. So let's attempt this. So as we can see, our tests have passed. Correct the Mundo, you may take your time to refactor, comment your solution, submit when ready. So, if we go ahead and submit this, we see, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce that, but congrats on completing your first Keta. Here are some tips for what to do now. Let's, uh, I want to know what Keta means. Define... Kata. Ha. Huh. So it's Kata, I guess. And it's a individual training exercise for practitioners of karate. Whoa. Kata. Kata. So congratulations on completing your first kata, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying these. I really, really enjoy this Code War thing, and I will definitely continue making more of these videos. Hope you guys stay tuned for the next one.